on court. Y'all ready to have a good time tonight? I need the whole room on your feet. How y'all doing? If you favor, tell your neighbor. Tell them that we got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah. Trust and believe. Yeah. Yeah. I trust and believe. Yeah. Yeah. Supply my needs. If you bless, go say. Hey, if he came through and he always made a way. Hey, if he came and he turned your life around. Hey, if you know that you gotta get it now. Hey, let's go. I got it, I got it. Hey, you got it, you got it. Hey, we got it, we got it. Hey, it's already mine. Already mine. I got it, I got it. Hey, you got it, you got it. Hey, we got it, we got it. Hey, it's already mine. What's up? 
is leaning in my direction. This way, everybody lean. God is leaning. Concord, y'all gonna have a party tonight. In my direction. This way, everybody lean. God is leaning. Yeah, 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 yeah. In my direction. Oh, y'all having a party over here saying. God is leaning. No music, Michael. Take a selfie. This is my year of overflow. I'm leaning. Now stay right there. Say God is leaning. Woo. I want to make the devil mad. I need the whole room to bust a 360. Concord tonight, man. You love your pastor and you thank God for having a man of God who's giving you a track to be all he's called you to be. I just need you to shout, ready, ready. Set, set, grow. Yeah. See, that's the problem with your whole circle right there. They waiting on a goal, you waiting on a grow. And a goal and a grow ain't the same thing. Somebody shout, grow. Okay, Pastor, I I'm sorry. I got a couple members looking at me like, this ain't what I expected. He done kappa shimmy, he, people at the altar jumping around. This ain't revival. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, right? And we had real revival, okay? I was raised at a Baptist church. My, my granddaddy would put his robe on, walk up to the podium and say, Woke up this morning with my mind hey. You ought to clap your hands I woke up this morning with my mind hey, yeah. I see you clapping right there, brother I, I see you thinking All right? Grandmama said she went to bed stressed. Okay. But by the time she woke up, she felt blessed. Okay. So you rolling your eyes at me like I'm not doing gospel because I said, woke up this morning, I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm saying the same thing my granddaddy said. He said, I used to go to the refrigerator and it was empty, but now I can testify. Food on my table, I'm blessed. <laughs> Clothes on my back, yeah, I'm blessed. Bless. I'm blessed. Bless. I'm blessed. Bless. The devil already know I'm winning. Bless. Bump your neighbor and say, neighbor, the devil should have killed me when he had the chance. I need the whole room to jump with me. Woke up this morning, I'm blessed. Bless. Food on my table, I'm blessed. Bless. Clothes on my back, yeah, I'm blessed. Bless. I'm blessed. Bless. I'm blessed. Bless. The devil already know I'm winning. Bless. Micah, tell your neighbor, you better be glad you sat next to me because you sit next to a winner. I need the whole room to rock with your boy like this. I woke up this morning, I'm blessed. Food on my table, I'm blessed. Clothes on my back, yeah, I'm blessed. 
I said it's in the room. It's in the room. I got I got three big boys. And everywhere I go, I tell the story because it blesses me. 16, 15, 14, and God blessed me with some good kids, right? All of them on the honor roll. Two of them play football, one of them bowl for the high school team. And I tried my best to reward them. And Sandra said, Dad, you see my grades, you see what I did this year? Go and hit my cash app. I said, you got it, Playboy, I got you, there you go. There's only one problem, he set me up and put me on speakerphone. So Mike said, you know what, since you're hitting his cash app, hit my cash app too. I said, all right, Mike, I gotta go. But Mason was in the room. Mason said, Dad, since you got them right, go and get me right too. I said, all right, Mace, I got to go. Leave me alone. There's only one problem. My nephew, Stephen, was at my house. And Stephen said, what about me, Uncle Mike? And I started to tell Stephen what any good Christian from Concord would tell their niece and nephew. Do I look like your mama? Do I look like your daddy? But I was faced with a dilemma. Do I tell Stephen no? Or do he get blessed because he's in the right room? And I don't know what you came for, but I came to prophesy. You're in the right room. You're in the right room. I need you to shout like favor just hits your room. You're in the right 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 room. I need your hand lifted because I'm about to prophesy that this year your testimony will be you did the empire.
Hear me? I gotta get out your way. You can stay right there. But I need somebody to shout impossible. You missed it. I need you to declare like you mean it. Shout impossible. Hear me? Whenever your pastor gives you a theme, whenever your pastor gives you a theme for the year, that theme is both missionary, but it is also prophetic. And sadly, a lot of us understand the mission, but we miss the prophecy. What, what is that? He said, ready. I'm finna run. Set. Watch this. Grow. Now, now you missed it because if he said, ready, set, go, my next natural step would be boom, which means go is indicative of steps. Watch this. My son, Michael, turns 16 next month. This time last year, he was in an eight. Shoot. <laughs> a year later, he is now in an 11. I don't remember when he went from eight to 11. When I went in his closet, I never saw a nine. I just woke up and he experienced growth. Which means when you grow, God lets you skip something. I need somebody to shout, I'm skipping some step. That this is my leap here. That God's taking me from a nap. You ought to shout. You ought to shout. I just need you to touch three people and shout, grow, grow. You sit next to a hater. I need you to walk over to somebody and say, grow. I need everybody online to type grow, 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 grow. And I want to prophesy, you're not going to do it incrementally. You're not going to do it step by step. But when you grow this year, he's going to do it suddenly. words get ready to come forth I said grow watch this and when go people hang with grow people you fall out and you don't even try cause go people waiting on a green light grow people waiting on a word y'all miss what I just <laughs> and, and, and the problem is most of us will never grow because we won't get out our own way. Lord, I made some mistakes. I know that I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm trying to do better. 
But now, with all that I am, I try to make it right, but it just won't get no better. So, Lord, don't fix it, just fix me, just fix me. Please, Lord, don't fix it, just fix me. Cause if you fix me, I'll fix it I'm the problem I'm the problem I got good news, but you're the answer He's the answer I'm man enough to say I'm the problem I'm the problem you're the answer. You're the answer. And your issue, I'm not going to say he might. You are going to walk into the strongest year of your life. Hear me? I can be bold about that. Why, Pastor Mike? Number one, because you're under a word teaching pastor. He's putting substance in you. He's giving you practical application so you can go to another level. He's giving you the tools you need. Why, Pastor Mike? Because hope is when I don't allow what's happening around me to impact what I believe in me. And every time you come to church, he places something in you that when life gets crazy, the old songwriter said, my soul has been anchored. I got a minute and 50 seconds left. Let me say this to you. I want you to make me a promise. When you get that phone call from the job you've been waiting on, y'all don't even know when to put a praise on stuff. When that child you've been praying for come home and get his mind right. When that marriage shifts to being whole. <laughs> when you go to your counselor's office and they say, we don't know what happened, but your tuition been paid in. Hear me. I want you to make me a promise you're not going to get arrogant. That, that's been the funniest part of my journey. People have been saying, you most down-to-earth cat I've ever met. All God's doing in your life, you would think you would just be on a whole nother level. They don't realize I'm from Ansley. Oh, you don't know what that is. I'm from the hood, 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 hood. And they keep saying, Pastor Mike, how can you stay so grounded? And I told them it's real simple. I remember when I remember, I remember when he saved my life Everything before that was just a blur I was wild, living real foul I just wasn't right I remember when I remember, I remember when he changed my name From sick to healed, from broke to blessed Now we can testify that God, I'll never be the same Can y'all help me concord? God is
I'm running out of time, but if you don't mind, can you just lift your hands high as they go and declare to the world, good is. Come on, you ought to lift that up even in your living room. God is. gonna go through some stuff that's why I need you alert tonight I had a very simple assignment it's to set the ground set the ground it wasn't my job to just plant a seed Bishop McKissick is about to plant a seed that's gonna revolutionize your life hear me people keep asking where I came from for the last 13 years I've been in Birmingham Alabama sitting at the feet of people like your pastor and Bishop McKissick and Bishop Sapp from afar I'll never forget I'm sitting in my house and I start my church we only got about six people and I would watch Bishop McKissick every on the word on the word network he would come on and then it was a streaming platform that all of them used to come on and I would sit there and watch him he was preaching and he would speak a word and I would sit there and take every note from his sermon I would then log off and stand in the mirror and re-preach the whole thing word for word <laughs> All my members thought I was the best preacher in the world. But it's all right to be a copycat if you got the right cat to copy. So, as the word is getting ready to come tonight, I don't need you to listen just for a shout. Because it's going to be so good, it's going to make you feel something. But I need you to listen for trinkets that you can apply, listen to this, to your ready, set. Am I preaching to anybody? So every hand lifted, Father in Jesus' name, I lift up the man and woman of God in his house. God, thank you that they have leaders who are so forward thinking that gives them a diversity of sermonic presentations. Thank you for having leaders who give them vision and have a heart for people. Now, God, we stand on tiptoe anticipation because we firmly believe the same way that centurion, the same way that man told Jesus, you don't have to come to my house, but if you just send a word, it can happen by the time I get home. So tonight we lift up Bishop McKissick and we ask God, send a word. We say, send a word right now that my family will never be the same. My finances will never be the same. My focus will never be the same. My fitness will never be the same. My philanthropy will never be the same. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Can you give God a shout of praise for the word that's about to... Come on, you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Come on, you are... 